Hello everyone, the date is April 26, 2021, and I've got one small update in regards to Legend of a Sandwich Man. It's getting pretty close to, um, <clears throat> maybe I'll call, you know, call this an update. <laughs> it's getting pretty close to, um, the, um, Indiegogo campaign. I've got one of the, um, starter assets of the game going and with the whole um <coughs> question thing and gigs thanks Biden it's a bit more expensive than I thought it would be and the gig happened regardless of that it was a bit of a miscommunication when I set out the um, request, I was asking a little too much for my budget. But, they came to an understanding and like, I, you want this? Well, I can do this and possibly this for the price. Because of the whole bullshit thing of the gigs. I kept on getting more pricey, so I had to increase my price. And, but, he came to an understanding, he's like, yeah, alright, all right, I'll, I'll go and take it. So, I wanted to showcase more for the Indiegogo campaign, but, hey, it is what it is. I might be doing about that, I'm afraid. But, oh well. <clears throat> I doubt it'll be enough to generate hype, which means the um, Indiegogo campaign will have to be a bit later down the line, we're gonna get more assets. So, there's that. It's possible for me and Gig that we might have a small team going on with um, Moon Enigma. The artist, the story writer, the music composer, which I haven't got to music composition yet. But I just wanted to get some <clears throat> starter assets you know, like from the um, the game visuals and like, see exactly what players can expect, what people who uh, totally support any Google campaigns would expect from the project. Because it's that kind of thing that you now you kind of want people to know. Because otherwise, it, people will be sus. Like, uh. I don't think I should support this. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing too intriguing, or there's nothing about this project that I know about. I'm gonna you high growing spice. Yeah. <clears throat> the initial trailer is high growing and spice. In case you aren't in the loop, when that first um, trailer came out, I was like, oh, look at these characters, and and. The guys and crew made it all about themselves, like, Look, it's all women! Which... Was nothing but virtue signaling. And that's what people's problem was. There was literally nothing about the anime. Like, oh my god, look at these girls become guardians, and oh! Guess and crew! Yeah, if you did that after the anime had become a hit, assuming it does, or whatever, and people would have no problems, like, wow, no, they can do this awesome shit too. Like, that would be a better way to go about it. It's like, make sure the anime or whatever media you're doing, make sure it can stand on its own, and then, Possibly do the um, behind the scenes, like reveal who's doing what, and I guarantee you have a lot more respect. Guaranteed. This does it, whatever you can just stand on its own two feet. Let's make for itself. The product sells itself. And I'm pretty sure that's what Tressa would say. <laughs> Or something akin to that. Hey, 
and Teresa being my favorite character in the game. So, when I say the game, I mean Octopath Traveler. No, I swear to that. Octopath Traveler is becoming the new persona for me. Maybe I can pass where I was taking this place. Watch out, Persona! Alright. <clears throat> what I'm doing now is I'm making up to um, Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. is that other one there? I need to um, pulse her meal. Is yum, yum, yum. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see. I guess I'll see you on the um on the other side of the order. Okay, we're not on the other side of the order, but I want to know this. Why is a Carlton employee who he is happy to help yo? <laughs> they still have to place that sign. I just wanted to show that. Alright, so we're post the order, and I got it right here, the um, $7 all-star meal, the Powerade. And the Powerade's kind of the best thing I can get from ye old Carl's Jr. <laughs> well, like I say, I'm all about the power! The power! The power! It hurts the power! Okay, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't want to be as dramatic as someone I can mention. I may or may not link him in the video with the person I'm talking about. Well, you know who you are. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I will not mention names. But, yeah. Good food. Well, um, good in one sense, bad in another sense. <laughs> Once I move to a new house, I will kind of curb this whole fast food habit. Plays the best I can. Can't go cold, cold turkey. As that never works. Just you will never like get the um, cravings. And the urge, like, I need fast food, I need fast food! But, slowly over time, hmm, you know, curb the um, cravings for it. And the less you eat, the more you adapt to, uh, maybe one. Uh, and that's it for the week. Mm, okay, maybe one every 1.5 weeks for a while. Until eventually, then, have itself completely. It's a slow and gradual process. But hey. Anyway, coming us back to the game. <coughs> no, um, it is going to be an anime style, especially the cutscenes. Like 3D anime esque for the gameplay, 2D anime esque for the cutscenes. That's kind of what I want to go, the route I want to go about. You no, know, something kind of like the way that Persona does it. It's 3D, it's 3D in the gameplay, 2D in the cutscenes. I like that style quite a bit, and I'm going to do that for Legend of a Sandwich Man as well. <coughs> it is. God, I hope this candy and can Indiegogo campaign works as a success, and I'm hoping it'll be. Because I do have my reasons for making these games. <clears throat> One, is a fuck you to the Puritans. Two, as a means of you can have a great game without involving politics, hence my role of no real world politics. And three, to combat condescending achievements. 
the big offender of this is <clears throat> Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. It is a huge offender because the um, starting GFs, which if you don't know, is Guardian Force. He started the game with two. You can obtain these two GS, Easy Cocktail and Kiva, in one of in one of two ways. One, you go to your seat, you access your terminal. Two, you skip your terminal, and they're just given to you anyway, based off of interactions with um Christus. So these are handout GFs, which are handout units. That I have a problem with. So, one of my um, motives for creating my game is to combat that. Make achievements, actually achievements again. Who would have thought? You gotta work hard for your achievements. But, yeah, mini ramp over. I'm going to enjoy my food here, and look forward to when the Indiegogo campaign is launched. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.